Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. This is Shivam from Informatica Global Customer Support. In this video, we will discuss how to retrieve links between Axon objects and objects from external application using REST API. Before proceeding further, let us take a look at agenda of this video. Firstly, we will discuss which external applications can be linked to Axon and then we will see what are the links between Axon and these external applications that can be fetched using REST API. Next, we will discuss how to retrieve the links between Axon system and EDC resource using REST API. EDC is one of the external applications that is linked to Axon. Axon can be linked to external applications like Enterprise Data Catalog, Informatica Data Quality and Secured Source. Once the integration between Axon and these applications are done, the objects from Axon are linked to objects in these external applications and more information is imported into Axon which might prove useful to the business users. Let us see what are all the links that are established between Axon objects and these external applications and can be retrieved using REST API calls. We can retrieve links between Axon system and the EDC resources as well as Axon attributes and EDC fields. These links are established between Axon objects and EDC objects post Axon EDC integration. Similarly, once Informatica data quality is linked to Axon, users can link data quality rule in Axon to the data quality rules in IDQ and these links can also be retrieved using the REST API. Axon policy is linked to secured source policy post Axon secured source integration. This link can also be retrieved using the REST API call. In this video, we will focus on how to retrieve the links between Axon system and EDC resources. We will discuss the procedure to retrieve other types of link in the upcoming parts of this video. Let us proceed further and see how to retrieve the links between the Axon system and EDC resources. Once the integration between Axon and EDC is done, users link the Axon systems to the EDC resources. Whenever a link is established between Axon and an external application, the source object of this link is the object from Axon and the target object is the object from external application. Therefore, in case of Axon system to EDC resource link, the source object is the Axon system and the target object is EDC resource. Now, there are two scenarios. One where user has the source object information and the other where user has target object information. In this case, our source object is Axon system and our target object is EDC resource. The information between the Axon system and the EDC resource can be retrieved if we either have a source information or the target information. We will discuss both the scenarios here. Let us take a look at the details of the REST API query. The method used in the REST API query is GET. If you have the source information and want to retrieve the link details using this information, we have to use the URL that is mentioned in point 2. On the other hand, if you have the target information and you wish to retrieve the link details using this information, we will have to use the URL mentioned in point 3. We will discuss the REST API URL and the parameters passed with it in detail when we take a look at Postman client. Now let us first go to Axon instance and see the link between the Axon system and EDC resources. Further, we will create two separate REST API requests, one using the system information and the other one using the resource information and verify if we are getting the 
link details between Axon system and EDC resource. You can create the link between Axon system and EDC resource by navigating from create to manage catalog link and then going to the resource tab. Here all the resources that are imported from EDC into Axon will be displayed and all the links established with the Axon systems will be available. Currently in our Axon instance we have Axon system Azure underscore blob linked to three EDC resources. The first one is Azure blob test one. The other one is temp IICS FF and the other one is provider SNF data underscore vault. Firstly, let us use the system information and try to fetch the link details between the system and these resources. This is the REST API request that we have created to fetch the link information based on system details. The endpoint URL used for, for this request is the one highlighted here in the picture. This URL will be same for both type of request. One where the source information is specified and the other where target information is specified. Now let us take a look at the parameters passed with this request in more detail. The first parameter specified here is source IDs which hold the ID of the source object that is Axon system. Let us verify the ID of the Axon system that is linked to the EDC resource in our Axon instance. We will be using the ID for Azure blob system. The ID for this system is 1 as visible here in the URL. We will use this value for source IDs parameter. Next parameter is entity type. The value for this parameter is the one highlighted here axon slash app bundle slash entity slash system. This will remain same for all the requests where the source information that is the system information is specified. Next parameter is system identifier. The system identifier parameter holds the value of system where the object is present. Currently we have specified the system information here and it is present under axon. Therefore the value axon is provided. Next parameter is relationship names. The relationship names parameter holds the value of the relationship between source object and target object. The relationship name for axon system to EDC resource is the one specified here. The links between axon system and EDC resources are saved in the database with the same value. We have specified the bearer token under the authorization tab and the content type under headers tab. Now our request is complete. To execute this request click send. If the request is correctly formed we will fetch the resource information. As you can see here we have fetched the re relationship details between axon system and EDC resource. The axon system with ID1 is linked to three EDC resources as we saw earlier in our axon instance. Now let us proceed further and take a look at the REST API query for the second scenario that is where the resource information is specified. This is the request that we will be using to fetch the system information when we are providing other resource information. Here we are using the resource Azure blob test one which we saw was linked to the axon system Azure blob. The endpoint URL is the same as the one we used in the previous request. However, the parameters passed in the request are different. Let us take a look at the parameters. Since you are specifying the target object information, the parameter used here instead of source IDs 
is target ID. Here we provide the resource ID. The value of entity type parameter when the resource information is specified is the one highlighted here. Next parameter is system identifier. Since the resource object is present under EIC system, we have specified the value EIC here. Parameter is relationship names. As we saw earlier, the link name between Axon system and EDC resource is Axon systems to EIC resource, which will be the same as the one we used in the previous request. In addition to this, we have specified the content type information under headers tab and the bearer token under authorization tab. Now our request is complete. Once you have framed a similar request at your end, click send. If the request is correctly formed, it should fetch the system information. As we can see in the response, the system information is fetched. The Azure Blob Test1 resource is linked to the system with ID1, which is Azure Blob. We can verify this from the Axon instance. The system with ID1, which is Azure Blob, is linked to the resource Azure Blob Test1, the resource for which we provided the information in our REST API request. This is all about fetching the Axon system to EIC resource links using the REST API query. If you have any further queries or want to provide us your feedback, please contact us using the links mentioned here. Thank you for watching the video.